Here is our math box. I have some little shapes here. Circle, square, rectangle. These are just very simple plastic little shapes, which are always come in handy when you're teaching geometry. Some little fish. These just came from a little mobile that was broken, so I kept them. These are nice for teaching colors or about stripes, polka dots, squiggly lines, some beads. We use these for counting. They're nice, big, and shiny. And here's another set. These always come handy. I use some chips. These are just some card games. Once again, you can count with these. You sort the colors. They're great for math. Collected some foam shapes, which are very nice, easy to handle. They don't break, and they all have little holes too, so you can string them. So that's good hand coordination practice too. I have some colored eggs. These were just from little Easter chocolates, which I collected the eggshells. These are nice and colorful, as you can see. And the kids just have to match the eggshells together by colors. Pick up sticks. Everybody knows this game. I use these for teaching numbers. What they love to do is, here are my numbers. These are flannel numbers. We use different ones all the time just for fun and variety. These are from license plates. Different numbers. We use these. Or these, which I put onto little cards. Flannel again, they can feel them. So here's an example of what we do. Okay, we count them, we put them in the right order, and they put, for example, four sticks underneath here. One, two, three, four. They would put five here, six here, seven here. Or, of course, the typical game, which is you throw them all, and they have to pick one. Or then I tell them, okay, now you pick two. So they pick two. Now pick three. And on it goes. We have pegs. We do a lot of counting with this. Or once again, making patterns. Green, orange, blue. And they follow the same pattern. Green, orange, blue. These are easier for the little guys. When they get a little bit older, these are fun. And a little bit tricky to put in. But these are great for counting, too. Here's a typical maths, math set. The ones, the twos, threes, fours, and on. We use these for counting, or we also measure with these. For example, they have to find all the ones. They take their little finger and they measure all the ones that are shorter than their finger. They put on a pile. They measure. Oh, that's shorter than my finger. And on another stack, they put all the ones that are longer than their finger. For example, this one. They measure, would be this one. Shorter than their finger, longer than their finger. You can use these in many different ways. Sorting colors, once again, and sizes.